We are back in downtown Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right in front of the Ripley's Aquarium. And we're gonna see how many different spots that we can catch fish at up and down this strip. Oh my God, I got them right in front of the Ripley's Aquarium. I got them, holy cow. That was like my most embarrassing fishing moment ever. I can't believe that just happened. That, that... What's happening folks? Welcome to day two right here in the Great Smoky Mountains and we have moved it over from our hotel room to a cabin in the woods. It's about 12 o'clock noon right now and it's starting to warm up a little bit. It was 20 degrees this morning. I want to go hit some more streams and see if we can explore and find some new places that are holding fish. Let's not waste any more daylight. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to driving down the mountains. I don't think there's ever going to be a time where I'm going to be like, man, that was fun. I enjoyed almost falling off a cliff. Whew. It is beautiful up here, though. We pulled off the road here and are gonna go look at this river down here. There's a spot that looks really good. I've been to it before in the past, but it's been a long time. This place is beautiful though. Check this out. This is amazing looking, by the way. Going back with the same setup, I've got a little green trout magnet right here this time of year you're required to use artificial lures so you can't use bait of any kind to catch these trout with and so i have found that these trout magnets can be pretty solid there has got to be one in this pool this looks too good Nothing yet. Uh, we're going to keep casting, keep going with it. Whew, this is so beautiful. I will say this, even if I don't catch as much, this place is way prettier than fishing in the city. But we may have to go back into the city to catch fish. <laughs> I have no idea. Fished for like an hour in the mountains and got one bite. That was it. I just wasn't doing very well. So we're going to go uh, hit some spots here in the city now. I want y'all to look at the difference in the water clarity today versus the other day when I was here. It is night and day. That is so crazy. I'm going to stand on a rock here. There's bound to be one here. This looks amazing. All right. I actually have a theory, and my theory is that it's going to be tougher to catch them on a day when it's crystal clear like this in good conditions. Because, like, even though my, in my last video, the high muddy water made me like not confident at all to fish this uh ugh, this water looks like these fish might get pretty finicky like it is so clear today Ooh, ooh, is that a fish uh, uh nope i definitely got definitely something maybe i hit a rock <sighs> I will say that it is a lot more comfortable fishing in these conditions <laughs> than it was the other day. It's sunny and beautiful. There's a fish. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Heck yeah. 
I knew it would pay off if I just kept fishing. Beautiful rainbow. Look at what a beautiful rainbow trout. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. We did not get skunked today. <laughs> How about that? That's cool. I'll take that uh, any day. Especially when I am still doing a type of fishing that I have very little experience doing. Oh no. Did I get hung up? Unreal. Dude, don't don't do that to me. Oh I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I only have one cork left, so I'm like, I do not want to get hung up and lose my cork because then I'm gonna have to go to the tackle shop. That might do okay. Got him, got him, there's a fish. No way. Got him, nice fish too. Nice fish, right in the middle of the rapids. Come here. That's a real better fish there. Beautiful catching. I love catching them when the water is just crystal clear like this. Uh, makes it a lot more fun. Look what a beautiful trout right here, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, let's move it on down. That's the goal today. I could probably sit here and catch a few more, but I really want to see how many areas I can catch fish at. That to me is what's fun, exploring, finding cool little areas right here. Hang, getting hung up in bushes. There we go. I'm seeing a bunch of them down here, but we have got to go through this to get the, to them. It's, this is easier said than done. Ugh. I'll be shocked if I don't see a bear in here. Okay, made it through the hard part, I think. I just went up on this bridge right here, and they were stacked on this bridge. So, thinking that if I can get down here, oh yeah, there we go. One wrong move, and I'm like doing the polar plunge right here. All right, let's see if we can get, oh, no, that, that was terrible. All right, there we go. There's a the fish, oh, I just got bit. I just got bit, dang. Cork just goes out of sight. Unless it hit a rock, it looked like I got bit. Got him. There he is. Got him. There we go. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Come on. Nice. Heck yeah, beautiful trout right here, y'all. Under the bridge, under the bridge. Come on, dude. That's a, that's a healthy looking trout right there. Beautiful. Man. There you go, buddy. Well, let's keep at it, man. This is turning into a good day. This bridge has got them under here. They're just kind of hard to get them to bite but I know there's a lot of them. Come on. It's beautiful under here though. The water is so clear. Oh, did I just, uh, yep. I almost lost my rig right there and almost hooked the bridge. That would've sucked. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep it going. We are now literally right in front of the Ripley's Aquarium and we are gonna see if we can catch some fish here. I am seeing a few small ones. Oh my God, I got them right in front of the Ripley's Aquarium. I got them, holy cow, holy cow, I got them. Come on up, come on up. 
come on up. Oh, he came off. Daggum it. I lost him. I was not trying to catch that fish. There was a small one that I was trying to catch and a massive fish come out of nowhere then attacked it. Like, I cannot believe that. So sight fishing is kind of my thing. And I saw these really tiny trout down there that I could have easily reeled up and like uh, walked down and released. That was like my most embarrassing fishing moment ever right there. I'm like in front of a hundred people at an aquarium in downtown Gatlinburg ends up end up hanging a fish that i can't get up like an idiot because he's too big i really wasn't trying to do that and i end up breaking him off like a moron this area looks really cool right here if i can i don't know if i can get down here or not it looks like there's a little pathway oh yeah oh yeah Okay. Man, this is beautiful. All right. All right, I'm gonna throw it in this deep hole right here and see if I can get any looks. Ooh, so, oh, he got it. He's got it. Got him. First cast, and he's a giant. He's a big one, dude. He's a big one. Holy cow. First cast, and it's, it's the biggest one I've caught on this trip by a long shot, if I can get him in. Holy cow. That is a stud right here, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to get him down here, walk him down to this area and land him. Oh, man. <clears throat> he is pulling drag on my Avengers rod. Oh, Holy cow, come here. This guy is like pulling some serious drag right here. Not kidding, this may be my PB rainbow trout. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get on up here. Get on up here. He's a huge fish. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <sighs> Look. What a beautiful trout right here, guys. Let's release. Oh, almost fell in the water. Holy cow. There he goes. There he goes. That was wild. All right, I'm going to go. I got to do this again. Holy cow. That was uh, unexpected in so many ways. I'm going to get right up here where I got more of a back cast. I don't, I don't know if that'll, that might do it. That might do it, We're maybe okay. That caused a lot of commotion. <laughs> oh, I got another, I got, oh, he hit it. I was gonna say, I, uh, it could have been a fish there, but that caused a lot of commotion, so I'm hoping it didn't, oh didn't scare him. That was terrible. I don't like that cast at all. Get down here a little further where I can get a more of a back cast. Ooh, there's there is one looking at it. Smaller guy though. It's definitely one looking at it. Okay. There's more than one fish in here. I like it. There we go. Get out on this last rock right here just so I can get more of a backswing in my cast, man. There we go. That's better. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. there he is. Got him. There's a fish. Got him. Whoa, hoo, hoo. Nice. Nice. Obviously not nearly as big, but he's a jumper. Oh, he came off right there. Sweet. That's all, that's, that's all I wanted out of him anyway. 
That's nice. All right, hit this little pull right here. I walked down just a little ways just to see that was not a good cast. That's not right. really not where I wanted it, but okay, we'll take it. Be okay. This is such a beautiful area right here. Just take a look at this. This is like amazing. Oh, right here. Oh, got him, got him. There we go, right here. Holy cow, sweet. Another one. What a beautiful little trout, man. That is awesome. Hey, 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 hey. It has been a great afternoon. Man, I cannot complain. Just a lot of fun. You know, if you're looking for just something that's easy to do, just a cool vacation with a lot of great scenery, you can trout fish everywhere and obviously have some success, give this area a try. Last spot of the day right here, only because this is where I caught fish in my video the other day, and it's one spot that I have not caught fish today. So I want to see if I could, if these fish that I caught the other day in my video are still here. Little different scenario though. Man, the water is interesting here today. They're still here. They're still here. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. All right, y'all. They're still here. That was cool. Ugh. Folks, if you've enjoyed this Gatlinburg, Tennessee series, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Comment below. Where do you want to see me go next time? I feel like 2024 is going to be a year where I do quite a bit of traveling again. Let me know what videos you want to see. I want to hear from y'all. Whether you want to see local vids, travel vids, doesn't matter to me. Comment below. We'll catch you next time.